On this week's episode, we talk about the Eternals. And all the pop culture news. We just got back from watching the latest from... Wait, wait, wait. Tonight we're live in front of studio oh, audience. That's right. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. But... Yes. With our studio audience, we just got back from watching um, the latest from the MCU, directed by Chloe Zhao, The Eternals. Eternals by the great Jack Kirby. And that was uh, something interesting mm-hmm. in the credits. Mm-hmm. They uh, usually they say based on a Marvel comic mm-hmm. or, Mar- or s- characters from Marvel comics. Yeah. This one they put Marvel comics by Jack Kirby. They that's, did that's how important yeah. he is. Everybody mm-hmm. else is like, who cares who created <laughs> Then who cares who created, you know. Yeah. Anyways. Respect. Yeah. Uh, let, for this one, let's do spoiler ah! alert. Mm-hmm. Because we're going to spoil. We're going to spoil stuff. Even if a little bit. Because mm-hmm. one of my problems with the movie, it was uh, predictable. And yeah. everything that's on the trailer, it's on the movie. There's no surprises. There weren't any huge surprises, although honestly I didn't expect one because it is a Marvel movie, it is a superhero movie, there are kind of some, uh, yeah, it's a genre that doesn't have surprises, it has exciting heroes and cool scenes and effects and all that, but maybe not surprises. Yeah, I mean, there there is a plot twist, there's a surprise that one of mm-hmm. the good guys is a bad guy Mm -hmm. if not all the good guys are bad guys because yeah they are working for a bad guy they didn't know or they don't have a celestial mind to understand you know billions of years only thousands because they've been here for what seven thousand years seven thousand yeah yeah but for me that wasn't like what it was more like oh okay yeah i mean the, the 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 big not surprise Thing was I keep saying since since the first trailer is with with a group of so many characters mm. there's no way they're gonna do with that they're gonna like kill half of that or get rid of half of that yeah and they do I mean not half but not half but, yes. but it's, it's people die Salma um, uh huh uh, she's the, the only one guy. who gets killed oh wait, that's right that's right. And uh, Icarus, Michael Madden, whatever his name is, Robert Madden. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's three out of... But he doesn't die until the very end. But he dies, I mean, for the future. It's like, a, a, oh, a, sure. it's like a, in Avengers Infinity War, in mm-hmm. Avengers Endgame, you know, there's... Uh, in the books, they deal with, like, dozens of characters, if right. necessary. Uh, in the movies, there's they, they find alternatives that sometimes don't work sometimes work right. poorly um like in in the end game they split the action in three different uh, places mm-hmm. in, in the universe because you know you can't deal with all those characters the only time yeah. all those characters are together is at the very end of uh end game when they're running and fighting and yes. everyone has a zing uh, but Usually for movies is uh, I can't I can't think of uh, cases that they did and did it well. It's it's hard as usually yeah character I mean at, at least speaking of like book to movie adaptations one of the big changes that happens almost every time is that characters get cut or condensed like like two characters become one. It's just I guess it's just really hard to yeah to uh, adequately or. or yeah, to show a ton of people well, or to do it justice. Anyway. Yeah. Anyways, what, what, what are your thoughts about the movie? I personally really enjoyed it. With the caveat that I have not read any Eternals comic books, so I don't know. I'm not at all familiar with the source material. Um, but I enjoyed it. I feel like, I mean, it was definitely a Marvel movie. There are definitely some jokes and, and all that stuff. But... I feel like Chloe Zhao's influence really showed. It was, it was slow. It's long. It's two hours thirty-seven minutes. I think IMDb said. So it's long, but she really takes her time, like developing characters, developing backstory, and kind of explaining why we are where we are. Um, 
And for me personally, I think that paid off. It made for a very interesting film. I feel like um, a lot of what we saw was the Eternals dealing with their own inadequacies, doubts, fears, flaws, and all of that um, in order to get to the end. I also really liked that like they acted decisively. Like there was this threat and they did what they had to do to stop it and didn't waste a lot of time with like moral quandaries that just came out of nowhere. Like we saw in Shang-Chi and a lot of the other movies. Yeah, well um, they shouldn't have moral, moral qualities because they, no. they, like, they thousands of years and, mm -hmm. and, and yeah. Yeah. I thought it was interesting. It was, it was beautiful. There were like spectacular locations and sets and costumes and all that actors all did a great job there was a nice like diversity in the cast diversity like you know race and gender and and uh, orientation and stuff but also just like diversity of character like this like sarcastic little teenager and this like wise maternal figure and you know kind of the jock and the nerd and you know lots of different types of characters who come together it was i i found the whole thing interesting yeah, kind of hero movie. I'd like to see more of. Yeah, I think I think uh, it was it was it was too long. I felt it was beautifully mm -hmm. done. Just like this, visually beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, but to deal with so many characters, you would expect that the time used would be, uh, in my opinion, would be used better. I don't think uh, the two hours and almost three hours was beneficial of having all those characters mm -hmm. i think i think it, it works but it doesn't work that well yeah. um what uh, i guess it's a challenge though because i feel like if it was shorter it might have felt rushed and like these characters were sort of shoehorned in but that's what i'm which saying is an issue i've had with other movies so like if you're going to do something big I, I like that she committed to it and just did it yeah but, but that's big. what i'm saying with almost three hours that it still doesn't feel like the character they they, yeah. they, they develop the characters properly kind of mm -hmm. feels like hushed even if it wasn't because it was so mm -hmm. long uh uh you know it's like angelina jolie is there but you know she's she's barely there everybody's kind of for me i, I felt like everybody was kind of I, I i almost had this joke ready i was the joke was that the uh, the gilgamesh character mm -hmm. uh had less lines than the mute girl because there was a girl that yes yeah who signs and and no but he didn't start speaking and he has mm -hmm. good lines that's interesting yeah uh, uh, everybody has a plot. moment yeah but oh, one thing that i was reading about some people were talking mm -hmm. about the the accents you know mm -hmm. i was like why you make <laughs> robots and give them different accents. Accents based on languages that did not exist 7,000 years ago. Exactly. Accents based on <laughs> yeah. languages whose like origins and roots did not exist. Seven, yeah, that was a little distracting. I'm also curious to know if the sign language, if that was ASL or if it was something. No, that's that ESL. They made a... Eternal sign language. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, th that was one thing that that kind of like pulled me out of the immersion a few times, but I just ah, let it let, let it go. Don't yeah. overthink it. Just enjoy the cast. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh. But be, be, besides that, uh, on my my, what I feel is like. They invited this director. He's a is a new director to this mm -hmm. this universe. They invited mm -hmm. this director, gave her uh, this task, this movie to do. But mm -hmm. Marvel does uh, pro produces a cinema. It's not a director cinema. Yeah. So the producer Kevin Feige is the one that gives mm -hmm. the final order. Is probably the one that has final cut, and mm -hmm. uh, so she has to do with that. Yeah. Uh, she 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 could put her own signature to mm -hmm. it which she had to do with marvel and mixing it both it creates this different creature this different monster that is like it's it's not so much a marvel movie you know if you are if you used to like mm -hmm. last three marvel movies what was it uh black widow chang chi mm -hmm. was the, the, the other one before not even Gosh, I don't even remember. Not even Connie Venom, because that's... Uh, uh, yeah, that's different. Uh, what was that? I mean, we've just been watching the shows. Oh, Scarlet, uh, Scarlet Witch, WandaVision, or Loki. No, yeah. Loki was kind of weird, too. Was, but it was, it was still Super Marvel. Yeah. 
Uh, but if you, you count out that, then you go to see this. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like if you don't see the, the credits, you know, you, you might think it's not a Marvel movie most of the time. But then there's always the jokes and the zings and, mm -hmm. you know, the connections to. Oh, Thanos did this. Oh, Captain oh my America gosh. is gone. You know. They mentioned the blip so many times. Yeah. First of all, it's called the blip. The... <laughs> yeah. But it's like, it's almost like the new Sokovia Accords. But, like, but yes, it, we know it's you, connected. You, okay. You can blame you can blame the blip on on the on the director writer of Spider Man and and you know Spider Man had all these issues mm -hmm. including the blip. But yeah. uh, so is that this that weird mix mm -hmm. that uh, I was really excited to see the Black Knight and in uh, yeah. Jon Snow or uh, what's his name Kit Harrington Kit Harrington was yeah. there and um, he doesn't really become Black Knight until the very last second of the movie in a post. Post credit, the post -credit scene, credit scene, the, scene, the yeah. second post credit scene. Yeah. But it like teases like yeah, because the Black Knight is this really cool character from the books. He was actually part of the Avengers, and he's oh, right and he's uh, uh he's uh from from England. He has mm. he's from this lineage of Black Knights that goes oh. back to Arthur Merlin and and all that. And One of Arthur's first quests as king was to face a black knight. Yeah. At a bridge. So there's this whole cool stuff that, you know, they tease like Marvel teases, but yeah. Mm -hmm. We are not able to see. The movie ends in a sort of a cliffhanger. Right? Yes. Yeah, honestly the whole time I was watching I felt like this would be a good one off. Like 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 let them have their movie, just like one really great story and call it a day um but they did set it up for for more <laughs> and it did say like the eternals will return yeah the, um, the, uh, we'll i had i had a lot of vibes uh from from fantastic four from silver surfer on this one mm. because galactus wants to come and destroy earth yeah. eat earth mm -hmm. he's the the uh, planet, planet devourer yeah was it whatever something like that words devourer anyways so he 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 comes here and he sent his his orot. Is that a word in English? It is not. Now it herald. is. He sent his herald, uh, Silver Surfer, uh, and Silver Surfer at first is like, okay, fine, eat these people. Mm -hmm. uh, but then he realizes he deals with the Fantastic Four. He realizes that uh, there's not only monkeys here. There's more people, intelligent mm -hmm. people, good people, and he joins the Fantastic Four to fight. Galactus and stop him from mm -hmm. eating the planet, and there was a for me the 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 the, the, the main vibe was that. Um, yeah, it's definitely similar. Yeah, and I of course, of course, it's like uh, Marvel brags that everything that is good in mankind comes from, uh, you know, the Marvel <laughs> universe. That is like the one thing that bugged me about this is yeah, like in the beginning, it's like every great thing that humanity accomplishes is actually because of and them, and like that, and all irrigation, that, the wheel, and all that is to consider good the stories. fact that they were they had an oath to never interfere, but they interfere from day one to the last day. It's yeah. but they do explain that, and this is one thing I liked about the like you. A lot of the Marvel movies, you just, they kind of force you to accept the plot holes or just ignore the plot holes and pretend they don't exist. This one, they just like went for it. Um, like Kit Harrington asks, like, as soon as he finds out that his girlfriend, Cersei, is an eternal, he's just like, where were you? Like, with all this horrible stuff that happened. And she explains it. And then, but then there is this issue, okay, why were they allowed to interfere sometimes, not other times? Because Ajax was their leader and she knew what their actual mission was and so guided their interference so that it would be like like it. Yeah, but that but that creates another problem. So if mm -hmm. if as we watch the movie we realize that the mission is to to grow and populate Earth mm -hmm. to have enough energy to create this celestial that's born that's being mm -hmm. birth born uh, bred inside yeah. the core of the planet. So mm -hmm. if the goal is that and then comes Thanos and wants to kill in half. They're gonna put your mission behind. They should interfere. 
Right. That's a really good point. You know, so it's like is is the is the old is the ages old problem that like when you write something to try to retcon, retcon is the the, the yeah. issue. When you try to retcon, you always gonna cause this sort of problems. Yeah. And yeah. Okay. It, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, you know, oh, because well. if they were here in the in the, like, in the very first scene we see uh, Cersei using her powers mm -hmm. we see she loved these people so much she used her powers to save the little girl for an earthquake it wasn't like the end of the world you know mm -hmm. it was an earthquake she could like kick the girl out of the way using physical abilities sure. not powers right but she's her instinct because of the love and they mention oh you love these people mm -hmm. as soon as he got here so because her love and connection that she had with the people she acted if she really had that she would act when Thanos, when Loki, when everything, when, you know. Yeah, you know. no, it doesn't. So it doesn't it, it's the issues with Redcon. So there's no yeah. way to justify the fact that, oh, it was a no fun, whatever. <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah. What else? I don't know. I think, obviously, we're kind of divided on this. I really loved it. I, I enjoyed it. It's one of my favorites. Cause, in large part, because I feel like Chloe Zhao did get a little bit more leeway than the Marvel directors usually get and if you've watched or listened to us for any length of time at all you know that we frequently lament the whole like producer oriented nature of the MCU and how they like it's just so like tight-fisted and everything um so I really enjoyed seeing that I liked the heroes that we saw and the evolution that we saw throughout the movie I enjoyed it but just know it is longer it's a little bit slower paced there's a lot of like introspection and soul searching, and uh, if if that's your thing, I think you like this. Yeah, you should you should go go check mm -hmm. uh, if you like it or not. It's mm -hmm. not a, a point to tell you to watch or not. So go go check and maybe you're gonna love it. For me, it's like you know when I like a movie, I could I would be able to go back and watch all over again. Mm -hmm. Like when I really like it, just like this one. I don't know, maybe maybe yeah. some other time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, that's fair well we'll see in a couple days right now i'm like mm. yeah let's do it yeah. but in a couple days you know like the adrenaline will settle down and some some I'll come uh, back to Earth. some things about the movie um uh, the movie ends with the eternals will return but uh -huh. producers are concerned with uh, uh reviews um, yeah and box office they already said it's like oh, maybe not no, no, we'll see what's gonna happen. We'll see. Um, but they do end with cliffhangers and you know the card mm -hmm. saying that. Well, I hope that the, uh, the Black Knight gets some. If at yeah, least a Disney really show, cool. that'll be cool. And a really different kind of hero than we've seen for a while. Yeah. Too, that would be nice. Also, knights. Nice. Yeah. Just a blend. And yeah. Okay. Uh, 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 one another quick bit about the movie the movie was is being banned in a lot of countries mm. <coughs> apparently because uh a gay uh scene mm -hmm. a gay kiss and i wonder if the guy i i, won't, I, won't, I can tell if the guy is Arabic. but no i honestly did not recognize the language that he spoke i'm yeah. gonna find him real quick here. but he does look Arabic. so in most of the countries banning the movie are uh, Arabic world countries. Yeah. The actor... He's Lebanese. He's Lebanese. Yeah. But the character of the language, we not sure. Anyways, yeah. The Eternals are available uh, on a movie theater near you. Mm -hmm. And don't forget your eternal bucket of popcorn, I guess. And soda. You're gonna need. No, he drank caffeine. half of my soda. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, moving on. Let's stick with Disney for a minute. Um, the Book of Boba Fett. We have a trailer. So yes. the show. This is a Disney Plus show. It's coming out uh, December 29th. Yes. Okay. And we've got a trailer, and it looks cool. Basically. We've, we're just dealing with a wretched hive of scum and villainy. Yes, and and Disney, I'm not Disney. Look, I had a project. Um, for it was actually a game. It wasn't a show about mm. the underworld, and they yeah, it's good that they do that because there's a lot of books and comic books about you know bounty hunters and mm. and, and gangsters and you know people on the 
you know, the trying to live in the galaxy mm -hmm. between empire and rebellion and smugglers, rogues, yeah. pirates. And it's always it's always a good uh, thing to you know to use. Yeah, a good source of stories to tell because you know you know. You live in the universe and live mm -hmm. in a galaxy where there's a rebellion with this Luke Skywalker and Leia yeah. and or, or Darth Vader mm -hmm. and Palpatine, but you create a new character and develop from from scratch, mm -hmm. and you know they might heard of these people, but these people don't have direct influence on their lives mm -hmm. or on their characters, which gives the authors. Uh, freedom to create and to mm -hmm. create great things. They do. In fact, I just thought, I don't know why I didn't think of him before, but, but Hondo, Hondo's character is this like pirate smuggler yeah. guy who's one of the most popular characters from, like everybody loves Hondo. This guy's the worst, but everybody yeah. loves him. Mm -hmm. um, so, so yes, yeah, there's a, a nice track record of these scummy people becoming very popular characters. Yeah. And like visually, it's like, you know, Boba, oh, Fett, yeah. Boba Fett showed up once, and people were like, who's that guy? This guy, yes. <laughs> well, I mean, it wasn't like he's got like a flamethrower and a jetpack and... Yeah, no, I'm talking before that. Oh, when he showed enough. up on the animation of the holiday special. That's right. Well, um, okay, to be fair there, that was like the one watchable moment uh, of the holiday which, special. Which, in fact, his first appearance was on A New Hope, but the scene was cut. Mm -hmm. you know. Oh, that's right. You know, when, mm. when a Han meets with Jabba. With Jabba, who at the point was a human in a big fur coat. Yes. Oh. <laughs> what a time. What a time. Anyway, the trailer looks great. Lots of, like, organized crime type stuff happening. Lots of Fennec Shand, um, who's Ming yeah, Wen's Ming character. Yeah, Ming coming back. Mm -hmm. We have a glimpse of Daniel. Uh, is it Daniel Logan? Logan, yeah. yes. The, the original... Mm -hmm. A kid, Boba Fett, on yes. Attack of the Clones. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it looks good. And, oh, also, it looks like we're going to get some more of that, like, really intense and terrifying Maori-inspired inspired, hmm, Maori -inspired combat style that we saw in Mandalorian Season 2. Was that, was, that, uh, was that Mendo talking to him? I don't know. It sounded like him. The it second did. voice, the first voice sounded yeah. like the old guy from Empire. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It it did sound like Pedro Pascal. Yeah. But um huh. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But it looks good. It looks really fun. Um yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um that any other trailers we need to talk about? Mm, so the trailer for Morbius, yes. the vampire from the Marvel Universe, uh, mm -hmm. enemy of Spider-Man, mm -hmm. and uh, there's a lot, a lot from the original trailer. On this yeah. one, we have a little, we see a little bit more, and it made me think about this whole Eternal and how Marvel did uh, this movie and how mm -hmm. Marvel Marvel could do movies, you know, just. Uh, some scenes on, on Morbius that takes place on a ship, right? It's attacking the ship. Yes. And I was thinking, they could do an entire movie on the ship. A horror movie about Morbius. Sure, yeah. You know? and, and then cuts, and then to the end mm -hmm. is when he's being interrogated by the police. Yeah. Fade to black. Uh, and then you can do another movie. Mm-hmm. You know? It's, uh, it's, it's plenty. But, but even, even the best... The best plan on producing movies, it seems like they're not really, yeah. they rely on hat, retcons and, you know, yeah. change of, but anyways. Well, you know what they say, the best laid plans of flying rats and men. And <laughs> <laughs> but more That's abuse, so uh, we see Michael Keaton as the vulture, we see, mm -hmm. uh, who else we see? I don't know if you saw them, but they reference Venom San Francisco, a few times. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we saw a poster with Spider-Man. Which is Tobey Maguire, not not uh, mm. Tom, Holland. Tom Holland. So this is, we don't know where that movie takes place. You know, Jared mm -hmm. Leto is a vampire, and he's like to suck blood. Let's hope the movie doesn't suck. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay. We'll see. Oh, did we get a date? January. 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 Yeah. We'll see if it actually happens. Um. Okay. Speaking of release dates, Dune has a confirmed sequel. 
which even though this movie starts out with Dune part one, um, it wasn't actually confirmed until just recently, but they are making a sequel for yes. 2023. And it wasn't confirmed that uh, the director would come back, but now it's confirmed that Denis Villeneuve is really? coming back. Yes. I didn't know that he w Yes. I thought this was like his beloved... Yeah. His beloved. What? The, this project, I just sort of assumed... What? That, that since Dune was his, like, his... Yes. Love the thing. So then, why wouldn't he come back for the second one? Because there wasn't a second one. Oh, I guess. So. Okay. But now it's, it's confirmed the second one with him. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's all good. Whew. On the desert power land. A, yes. Desert power. I don't know why that's not more of a meme yet. It really needs to be. Um. Okay. You see stuff like that in Dune. You know. Mm -hmm. We knew the story. And and but. They, they did such a good job telling it and, and you yeah. know, stuff like Desert Power. Is that in the book? Yes. Oh, okay. But, you know, I was like, I honestly don't remember that from the first first movie, but the way they did on this, I was like, mm. what? Imprint that on, on you know, on your mm -hmm. soul. Impact. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Oscar Isaac has that effect on people. Okay, um, A Quiet Place. A it's Quiet a Place can get a video game, which I think is perfect for, for I mean, I, now that I said it, I realize maybe it's a bad idea <laughs> because it has to be quiet, right? And who wants a video game that's quiet? I don't know. I think it could work well in like a horror type thing. I, I'm thinking of The Last of Us. You know, there are these moments where you're just like walking around and there's one more particular where I turned a corner and there was suddenly a... You know, a zombie right there. I, I think you could get some really good jump scares yeah. out of it. But we'll see. But but I mean, again, you have the you have the the fact that everybody has to be quiet. You can't talk to anyone. I mean, they, they found ways. Like they found that. ways in the movie, right? I guess yeah. you can find ways. Yeah, you can sign. Too. You can yeah. yeah. And Maybe you have just like lots of rivers and waterfalls around. And the video game, the video game industry has been more successful in telling good stories than mm -hmm. the film industry uh, for a couple of years now. So I'm pretty sure they could find ways to expand on that universe. Sure. And you know. Yeah, like just completely ignore that family and yeah. follow oh, yeah, somebody no, else. Oh no, yeah, no, yeah, no. We don't want, we don't want yeah. that. The, the the idea is to expand and deal mm -hmm. with different characters, different situations. Yeah. Maybe some people how to to, to they get to that island, how they got there. Sure. Or or maybe the military that fought the first wave and stuff like that. Yeah. And, yeah. The island would be a nice ending spot. Like start day one. Like that's just you drop in mm -hmm. day one and and then. You know, follow them, like, survive day one and then, you know, survive different challenges and, you know, building a homestead and all that. And then, I don't know. I can see it. There's a lot, there's a lot of room there. Yeah. And I think it could be fun. I, I feel like it's a kind of game I could really get into. And because you just be so immersed, have some really great jump scares. Yeah, it, combine, it combines uh, what most, uh, not most, with what a lot of successful games have. Like, it has horror, mm -hmm. it has stealth. Mm -hmm. It has a survival mode on mm -hmm. that in a good story. Yeah, a compelling so, story. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, sound, it sounds fun. Um, that freaking Carol Baskin is at it. Yes. Again. So, Tiger King yeah. got a new show. That's right. Because season one, like, I don't understand how there's more to this story. Because there's so much crazy in season one. But somehow there's enough for season two. And Carol Baskin's not happy about it. Oh, yeah. She's suing Netflix mm -hmm. because they use her image. Yeah. Which, I mean, she was pretty upset about the first season, too, and the way that she was portrayed. I mean, um, her husband did disappear, and we don't know it why It definitely is. made her look like a murderer who feeds <laughs> men's tigers. So, yeah. I There's mean, but for the first season, she signed a, a release and authorized. Yeah. Uh, for the second season, we don't know if they're gonna use her or how they're gonna use her because I don't know. I yeah. I don't know. Maybe she just shows up in his songs or something. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. like I have mixed feelings about it. It's like this horrific train wreck. I'm like, I don't want to see it. It's too much. I can't look. But also, I have to look. <laughs> like, I do. So anyway. 
Uh, uh, Tiger King 2 I don't know what they're going to call it Tiger King 2 Tiger Queen Tiger King I thought it was like season 2 the, the sequel is yeah. coming Murder Mayhem what was it last Murder Mayhem was it called Murder Mayhem 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 Oh, yeah, but also... <laughs> also Garfield. Yeah. So yeah. So you're sticking with the lasagna thing? Or... D- d- what's lasagna? Mar- Mario? Well, Mario's Italian and Garfield is supposed sure. to be lasagna. And it's okay. just, uh, yeah. I try to make connections. True. They don't always work. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, anyway. so it's going to be Garfield in a new animation. So mm-hmm. the guy's getting, you know, the bucks for using his voice. He is. Good for him. Yeah, right on, right on. Um, Zack Snyder has started announcing cast for Rebel Moon, which Rebel is his Moon. Star Wars film, right? It was the deal he would sign with Lucasfilm, Disney, whoever was in command, I can't That's remember. That's right. Uh, they passed on it and he was like, fine, I'll make it myself. So it's his totally not Star Wars movie that's called Rebel Moon. Yeah. And knowing Snyder, it, it, it kind of sucks that Lucas passed on it because... Yeah. We sure it's gonna be good, yeah. and uh, but 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 again, yeah. uh, Noah Snyder probably will not work with with Disney and uh, Catherine because uh, you know mm-hmm. if Kevin Feige is the boss of Marvel and he's he's word is the law. Yeah, then Kennedy is that Kennedy, for him. Yeah, mm-hmm. which it worked. Mm-hmm. It, it's some. It's like, hmm, yeah. I gonna leave it leave it there. Okay. But yeah, Rebel Moon. Uh, we know, uh, what's her name? Sophia. Sophia Butella. Yeah. She's going to be on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was, I think the most well-known role for her was in Star Trek. Was it Beyond? Beyond. Yeah, Star Trek Beyond. She's the... She was also on Tom Cruise, The Mummy. Yes. And, and I don't know what, what, what's the relationship, uh, uh, uh. If is is if she has a relationship with the cast, mm. or if the Snyder family, but when they were shooting Justice League, she was seen uh, uh, on dinner parties with the cast, huh. uh, and everybody was like, "Oh, she's gonna be what's the name of the character? Uh, she's a she's a Dark Side's daughter uh, oh. with one of the Amazons." Uh, I can't remember. Oh, name. I don't remember. But either. it's like she would be. But yeah, perf- I could totally see that. She would be perfect for yeah. the. For the, you know, the uh, Doom. Or like one of the Furies or something. What's it called? Apocalypse War. The animation. Mm-hmm. The, the books is actually called, uh, I can't remember. Is it Apocalypse War? Dooms, Doomsday War? Dooms War? Sorry, I can't remember. I don't in the know. books, she, she's heavily involved. The characters have been involved. In, and mm-hmm. she she kills Darkseid. Oh, damn. I think. Uh, I have to reread that. I can't remember. Anyways, so... Yeah, if anything, they are friends, and mm-hmm. finally she's going to have the chance to work uh, with Snyder for Netflix, right? Uh, I think so. Yeah. That sounds right. He's been doing stuff for them. So, okay. Um, Nolan, and we could just stop there. Nolan's making another movie, Hot Dog. Yes. But what's it about? It's about uh, Michael Oppenheimer. Is that Michael? No. I totally guessed I it. So. What is it? What is his first name? Richard. It sounds like he was a dick. Dick Oppenheimer. <laughs> Hans I'm embarrassed Fri- Hans I don't Fredrick, remember this. Hans Friedrich Oppenheimer. Probably Hans, not. see? J. Yeah. Robert. J. Robert Oppenheimer. Are you sure is this the right Oppenheimer? I mean, I, how many are there? I mean, I don't know. It's like he's a family name. His father, his grandfather, his grandfather. No, that's him. J. Robert. Okay. Yeah. J. R. Oppenheimer. Mm-hmm. So Nolan is producing Jesus a movie Christ. about this person. Mm-hmm. Paul Dano is cast to be the main character, the, mm-hmm. the title character. But this week was also announced that Robert Downey Jr. and mm-hmm. Matt Damon yeah. are going to be involved. Mm-hmm. So, you know, Nolan does a terrific job. He always yeah. have great casts. And this one he started does. big. Yeah. Yeah. No kidding. Okay, um, another one. This is one that I'm personally very excited about. Disney's doing a live-action Snow White. 
I know it's another remake, but I feel like this is one that's totally justified because the first animated, this is one of Disney's first animated features at all, and it's been a very, very long time. So anyway, but they've cast Gal Gadot to be the evil queen. She's gonna be a bad guy. I'm very excited about this. And you know about the original original uh, Snow White, they mm. actually rotoscope the character. Yes. Which that's why the character moves like super realistic, it's, but mm -hmm. also super bizarre. It's very odd, yeah. Yeah. Every, everybody else was like drawn, but mm -hmm. the, the main character, the Snow White. I think mm -hmm. the prince too, yeah. I oh, think and so. The witch too. And yeah, there's a, human, yeah. But not it's human. basically like the dwarves and the and yeah. the animals that like, I, they call that the uncanny valley or something. What's that? Like when you, when you're animating people, humans, but when you do it, there's like this weird spot where it gets too accurate, so then it just looks wrong. And feels like very creepy. Rotoscopy um, can be like that. I didn't know there was yeah. a name for it. I, f I feel like I've heard that, but like, don't quote me on that. Um, I should read be more that. About They're it. gonna be calling that. They're gonna tell everybody it's called that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, yeah, so Gal Gadot. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm. I'm um, I am excited. I think it's gonna be good. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see uh, Red. What's it called? Snow White. No. No. The new movie. Oh yeah, Red Notice. Red Notice. This yeah. Is coming, coming soon. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, I like her. it's out. They have posted red carpet pictures. I hope. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. But, yeah. but it's sometimes the head carpet is like a week or That's two before. True. That's true. Anyways, uh, so yeah, she's good. I can't wait to, mm -hmm. to hear that she's going to be on Rogue. Two or whatever they call Rogue Squadron, because mm. Patrick, Patrick Jenkins is there, so you know. Yeah. Maybe Chris Pine's gonna be a Rogue leader, <laughs> and, and anyways, yeah. So Gaga Dodd's gonna mm -hmm. be the 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 queen, evil queen. Mm -hmm. We don't know who's gonna be Snow White. At this point, who knows? Could be yeah. a boy. Could be uh, who knows? I hope it's an unknown. I'd like to uh, see an unknown. Yeah. It seems like a good role for an unknown. Okay, um, more casting. Netflix has been doing, still working on a, an Avatar The Last Airbender live action series, even though um, the original creators of the animation have left and are now back at Nickelodeon with their own studio. Um, but they just cast Daniel Day Kim to be... General Zahn! Fire Lord Ozai! Yes. Yeah. I, I know that was so... I yeah, I am so... Well, it's okay. Nobody's perfect and you have time to watch it. Yeah. Um, well, they have 4K. I don't know if they do. Doesn't matter. It doesn't need 4K to be one of the best shows ever made. Either way, <laughs> when I heard that he was cast for the show, my first thought was he would General be a good... Zahn. He would be a good Fire Lord Ozai. And that's what they did. So this is probably the best news I've heard about the live action show so far. Yeah. yeah. Okay. There's an Admiral Zhao. Maybe that's who you're thinking that's of. A, that, yeah, Zhao. Because I, I, yeah. uh, my pronunciation is, is uh, mm -hmm. a North of China is more like a, a Cantonese. Mm. And, and the show mm. is more like a, a Mandarin. Yeah. Yes, yes. You know, I see how you get common, that mixed up. Common mistake. Yeah. Admiral Zhao is voiced by Jason Isaacs. Yes. In the yeah. animation. Yeah. yeah. He, he does great villains. He does. He does. It's so funny when you when you saw him at Fan X. He's, he's such so an uh, interesting, cool guy. But he is. it's like he he made a, a not a fortune. Of course, he's an actor. Mm -hmm. uh, but he made a uh, life, like you know, mm -hmm. making people hate him because he's uh, hateful. Like on Patriot, oh, he's like the man, worst. He's so like, bad. If uh, if Americans hated the the british like he made made sure he hated even more yeah 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 i know he's played a lot and and he does put like a lot of thought and effort there's these great stories like a uh, and um on the set of uh the chamber of secrets he was you know he in preparing for the role he he did a lot of research and, and you know watched the movies and read the books and stuff oh. and, wanted the audience to have feel sorry for Draco and he's such a little twerp and a bully so he's like all right I've got to be really mean to Draco like he puts thought and effort into becoming as evil and repugnant as he can when yeah. in real life he's just so like charming and hilarious yeah. anyway and he and he has to be evil to to pull that long blonde hair because yeah 
if he it wasn't even enough people it would be it would be hilarious it'd be a joke but no he's so evil that's like yeah okay yeah yeah that guy can <laughs> wear that yeah anyways uh so that was uh jason isaacs from uh avatar mm -hmm. and avatar is gonna get daniel day ken mm -hmm. quinn ken ken yeah ken ken yeah mm -hmm. last but not least there's a new season of the game coming to Hulu. Yes. FX on Hulu or, or FXX on FXX. Uh, okay. A new season 15? Yeah, season, season 15. Of yeah. It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. And the gang's gonna go back to the Irish roots apparently I really mean, yeah there's, there's how a... far about like like ireland back <laughs> or are we just really getting into uh, i don't know we found that's an episode that we found that uh what's his bucket uh dennis's uncle great uncle or something mm -hmm. was a nazi there's, there's that's that one right <laughs> anyways we can't wait uh, it's it's yeah it's a show you have to watch it it's mm -hmm. it's yeah it's always sunny in philadelphia it's a great show yeah they are horrible people but yeah. and you just love them yeah. i can't get enough of them oh, anyway you talk about, about i was like horrible people yeah you remember that there's an episode that uh mac goes to heaven yes. and when he goes to heaven it's like the angels is like guys like super muscly guys without shirt and, yeah. and, and, and the Lord himself is also without short. It's like, come here, son, sit here. <laughs> Seinfeld on crack. That's yeah. the, the definition. Actually, that's for a the show. really good description. Yeah. For the show, yeah. No, if the Seinfeld yeah. game had gotten like really into drugs and alcoholism. Yeah. That's so, I so be. I. Uh, anything else all right no i think that's a good note to leave it on okay yeah. i guess i guess that's it uh, mm -hmm. for this week next week we're gonna see the new ghostbusters yes. uh and talk about it mm -hmm. we might talk a little bit about the new army of thieves on netflix but anyways that's for next week for this mm -hmm. one is that's it okay. uh may the force be with you live long and prosper bye bye